Okay, in this tutorial for Windows 7, I will show you how to disable those annoying pop-up messages every time you want to make a change to your system or perhaps even starting an application. So for instance, I'm going to click on Cyberlink Power Director and here's the user account control message. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? And underneath it, there's this link it says change when these notifications appear so let me just move that out of the way and here basically to disable those messages this is the default position okay and it says don't notify me when I make changes to windows settings put it one notch lower it disables more messages and then you put it over here to never notify and Basically, it says programs try to install software or make changes to my computer. It will not notify you when that happens. And also, when I make changes to Windows settings, it will not notify you, which is great because let's face it, it could get really annoying. So I click OK, and it says, "Do you want to make the changes?" And I click Yes. So if I click on Cyberlink Power Director now, it should just start the application. Which is actually the video I'm making right here. Um, but here's another application. When I used to start this, it would give me a pop up message. This is my Azeroth Extreme Tuner. It basically shows me my uh, CPU temperature and the speed of my fan and stuff like that. So. If you want to re-enable those messages for any reason, click the Windows Orb, type in UAC, okay, and right here it says change user account control settings. So we can put it back to the default position, click OK. So now that I re-enable the messages, if I click on the Azeroth Extreme Tuner, the message pops up again. Let me go back here and disable these messages because I don't want to see them anymore. So yes, and yes to that. So, as you can see here, you must restart your computer. So, obviously there's some kind of uh, restart involved. Well, that's how you disable your uh, user account pop-up messages that seem to pop up way too many times and I'm pretty sure this is how you do it on Windows Vista as well but this tutorial was done on Windows 7 so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned something and I hope uh, your life is a little bit easier um, without those annoying messages go ahead and subscribe to my channel YouTube slash home edition I have a lot of these interesting videos that may improve your life just a little bit so thanks for watching this video and uh, I look forward to uh, your comments.